five paid ways to promote your print on demand business. I recently made a video say titled seven free ways to promote your print on demand business and that did really well and I thought a lot of people out there actually want to start with a bit of money, they wanna go a bit faster. So I'm gonna do five cool ways to pretty much launch your print on demand business, right? but they have to be paid. So before we get started on this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button just down there if you haven't already done it. Most of my viewers aren't even subscribed, so hit that button, click the bell notification because I bring out a new video every single day and I don't want you to miss any of them because they're really good, if I may say so myself. And yeah, let's just, let's just dive right in, right? So firstly, the difference between free and paid is free takes a lot longer to actually build up any sort of sales, whereas paid is very quick. If you if you launch a paid campaign, you could be getting sales that same day. So paid is very, very fast. So I've got my notes here, my the top five ways. Number one, and this isn't really in particular order, however, this number one I would say is the best, is Facebook. Facebook ads is one of the best ways to promote your print on demand business. And let's say your print on demand business is t-shirts or socks or mugs. Facebook is the best. And why is Facebook the best? Well, Facebook is the best because the type of ad you would do, it would be a newsfeed ad, so it would be a big ad. When people scroll through, they would really see the ad, but the main reason why Facebook would be so good is because the targeting on Facebook is incredible. You can literally target mothers who have daughters, who've just come back from holiday, who like dogs, who like dog rescue pages, who are married, who are over the age of 30, who live in Ohio. Right, you could just get so unbelievably targeted and that allows you to create designs that are so laser focused on that particular target market, then sales just fly in, right? So Facebook is really, really good and that is the first one. And in terms of paying for that, I would suggest paying about $25 a day. If you're not getting any sales after a day or two, then pause that ad and either try and find a new audience or just go and design a new t-shirt. Okay, that would be my recommendation for Facebook. The second one is Instagram. Instagram is really good for influencers when you literally have a design, you say to an influencer, please can you wear this? Let's say you order a sample, you send it to the influencer, can you wear this in a photo? And they get so much reach, they get a huge amount of clicks. So influencer marketing on Instagram could be really good. However, that could be quite pricey. So I would only recommend doing that after already finding a successful t-shirt with Facebook advertising or any of the other platforms of advertising. Now, there's also another type of ad on Instagram which I wanna tell you about, and that is story ads, okay? Now, oh, my camera just died and I had to change the flipping memory card. So, story ads, story ad is really cool because people are reading, watching stories anyway, they're not reading, they're watching stories, and it's as simple as literally just swiping up. So you would have your ad and then you would click swipe up if you wanna see more, or swipe up if you wanna buy, and then you can just swipe up from the story and it will take you to an integrated web page on Instagram and you can literally just buy, like you can, you don't even have to leave Instagram to go through the entire process of buying the t-shirt or whatever you decide to be selling in your print on demand business. So Instagram is really, really good. I'm just gonna check that it's in focus. Yep, you're in focus. Okay, number three, the third way. What is the third way? The third way is Pinterest. Okay, I mentioned Pinterest in the free way because, in the free video, because Pinterest is good. I mentioned a lot of these in the free way, but in, in the free video, but Pinterest is great because Influencer marketing on Pinterest is quite reasonable. It's not very expensive. I know you can get for 20, 30, $40, you can get someone with over 10,000 followers on Pinterest, which gets you a ton of pins, a ton of link clicks, and hopefully a few sales. So you can easily track all of this, and that way you can see how many sales you're getting from Pinterest and if it's worth it to continue. Because if you spend $20 and you get three or four sales, then you're in a serious amount of profit because the aim here is to get about 10 or 11 dollars profit per item right so all you would need is to sell two from that person posting on their pinterest right so that seems very realistic very doable so that's 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 one amazing way pinterest the fourth way fourth way is google ads google ads specifically keyword targeting and keyword phrase targeting so you, if let's say you're selling a dog a pug t-shirt and you want to target the different words, pug, rescue, dog, rescue, all these kind of things, then I would recommend doing Google Ads because Google Ads is really, really powerful and it's pretty much the entire internet. So that is a really good one. The ones where it shows up on the top or on the side, those are the type of Google Ads I'm talking about. They're not as good because you can't really have an image there. 
and the whole idea of this is it's a visual product people want to see it when they buy it but if people are searching for something like it then they'll probably just click on your link and then they'll see it and then they'll buy so test out google ads and see how that does and then the fifth fifth and final one is youtube ads okay youtube ads is super cool you can create a very easy video you can create a post whatever you want to create and you can target in your ad specific niche videos and niche channels. So if you have a dog t-shirt, then you could target all these dog channels and all these dog videos. So when someone watches a dog video, your ad will pop up right there at the front and you know they're interested in dogs because they're literally, literally clicking on a dog video. So they're definitely interested in dogs in some way, right? And then they'll go and click your ad and eventually go and buy. So those are the five ways to promote your print on demand business. I hope this makes sense. This was just gonna be a quick video. I didn't wanna do seven ways or eight ways or 10 ways. I just wanted to do five really solid ways to promote your print on demand business. If you have any other ways, then let me know down in the the comments and I will, I will look into them. And again, if you have any ideas for videos in terms of print on demand or anything that you want to see, let me know in the comments. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you in the next video because of course you are now subscribed and you have hit the bell notification. So you're gonna be at the next video, right? I'll see you there.